and my parents for this wonderful day. Indeed, we are all honored by the presence of our most honorable Minister of State for Commerce and Industry, Srimadhi Nipala Sita Raman, on this day. She is a very dynamic minister. Three months back, I had the opportunity to share the dais with our minister for our joint venture program. She, she delivered an excellent and practical speech and I could see her vision for India. Madam, thank you very much on this day for your presence. And I know wherever you go, it's a great motivation for all of us. My thanks to the President, CHA President, Mr. Giri, Nadraj, and other members of Customs CHA Association. I welcome Mr. Samit Shah, Patnaka, and other dignitaries on the stage, and also our most accessible Chief Commissioner of Chennai Customs and other commissioners, my friends, and my wife here. All of you, all of you are here for this important occasion for your for our own building, renovation of the building. <coughs> Mr. Giri and Nandraj approached me that, sir, you have to sponsor this event and we are calling our minister. And I told them, you are calling the right person. She could always be practical. And I also told them, I can never forget in Amma Vidya because I come, I started my career only as a custom broker, custom house agent. It's my mother's house. Way back in 1983, when I went to Mr. Santana Mayanga, introduced by Mr. Baskari, who brought me into shipping, I had a brief career as a professor in Naira College and that was the time I was commissioned to UPSC. I had, a, I, I, had, I, I had to make a decision whether I should become a bureaucrat or I should stay as a business, first generation businessman. When I met him, he told me, he saw my qualifications, Mr. Mr. Brito, you are not fit for this job. And I said, sir, it doesn't mean qualified people should not enter as a CHA uh, field. And finally, I was employed. Briefly, I was there. In 1984, I started this CHA. I still remember we have come too far. When I say Giri and his team doing such a wonderful job, and of course, I know Mr. Krishnan and other, uh, uh, others the past presidents, they have all done extremely well to spend their time to ensure that we get that kind of a respect. What is more important for CHAs is the respect. Today, we are getting the respect from everyone and thanks to <laughs> So, from five people, today, I have grown all over India, in fact, our network all over the world with more than 3,000 employees in our group. Once again, I am thankful to this fraternity. <laughs> Dear friends, it is important to say that our Madras Customs House agents are <coughs> the best. They have both asked the 
B. With all your hard work, you are making honey, but the man takes away the, steals your honey. The bee beautifully replied, they can only steal my honey, but not the art of making honey. Dear friends, I want to say, our agents here are different and they, they know how to make your honey. And that is why they have been growing and I could see, as Giri mentioned, we have more than 1,000 members in our association. And can we come to the most important point? Do we stay as CHA? Considering the globalization, the world as one potential market, is it okay for us? You all know about the woodcutter story. Well, one woodcutter works very hard throughout the day. Whereas the other woodcutter, on and off, he goes out and comes in. But in the evening, the wood, woodcutter who worked very hard, got less wages, and asked his boss why. Then he mentioned to him, you have been working very hard, no doubt, no, no doubt about it. But then the person who is going on and off was sharpening his blade. When you sharpen the blade, you cut more woods, your efficiency levels go up, and thereby you get more wages. And what we require today as customs house agents is most importantly the cutting edge. We need to be proactive. We need to be innovative. We need to find out how well we could include all services under one roof. One, one roof. We cannot be the beginning of the supply chain all the time. We need to have the entire supply chain with us in order to survive, in order to serve most of the corporate clients. And that is why I have to tell you, now the time has come for us. One is to concentrate, to upgrade our technology, because technology can only give you the operational efficiency, that can only give you the competitiveness which is very much required, because throughout India we are talking about the logistics cost. It is one of the highest in the world. But then, if you really want to reduce the transaction cost, we have to start working on getting all the services under one roof and thereby eliminating the middlemen and giving the better quality services to our clients, competitive quality services to our clients. So we need to concentrate on technology. Number two, we have to constantly increase and improve our skills. When Giri told me, when this renovated building is opened, and already of course, they have been every week having all the CHAs coming into their office, and they have some training sessions, updating the knowledge, I'm so happy. Today you have to keep on improving your skills. That's why my wife is here, we opened up this uh, St. Peter's College of Logistics. I have even offered to him, every week on a Saturday, our members can come, they not only study about the rules and regulations of the customs, but also the holistically we have to study what is globally happening in the logistic industry. What I need to say is that we have to think globally and act locally. This has to be our slogan. Only then the sustainability will be there for a CHA agent, which you have to think about. And in order, because our Prime Minister has brought in beautiful concepts. Whenever I go for my international conference center, everywhere I go, that these concepts are very innovative concepts. The slogans are not slogans today. They are becoming solutions for us. The skill India, making India, digital India, startup India. And skill India is very, very important. Not only in terms of education, upgrading your skills, but also in terms of sports. That's why we have spent a lot of money in order to connect, we brought in the shorter version of football, futsal into India, bringing in all the le legends from the world, giving motivation to the youngsters. You do not know how much we have gone through in order to spot, spot out any talents. 22 states 
without anybody's help, we went around through our uh, college, responsible, my wife was responsible with a team, and selected five people from each state. We took nearly 60 people and conducted a boot camp in Chennai for about a week, and then put them along with the legends of the football and also the international futsal player. It was a wonder that we have such a good talent and that we have always match up with the international players. It was a great success of the tournament. This is what we have to do. We have to encourage the young talent. And the third important point is that as the HA, are we diversifying? If you want to be successful, you need to diversify the market and the product. When I say market, not only India, outside India. And within India, you can explore many opportunities. That is why we have offices all over India, and I could see we have different type of people bringing in different ideas and knowledge to us. Then help us to grow. So naturally, you have to have diversification of market, and diversification of product is very important, because you need to get into specialized vehicles, a specialized warehousing, where if you have to employ the highest technology levels, and also all the distribution systems. Thanks to the government, with the GST interaction, the water policy, and the land acquisition policy, and also the e-commerce boom, is going to help our fraternity. For that, what you have to do is to equip yourself. Make sure that you are able to expand yourself, come out of yourself, start thinking more and more positively so that you could give all of these services under one roof. And last year, I must say that the aim was taken recently, our CC, Chief Commissioner, gave an excellent speech on AEO around November. And AEO, because we are all bottom box, who is customs house agent? They are all bottom box. Without you, which are not entering and going out, we are facilitating the customs. And what we need to do is, basically, we have to come up to that level. And AEO said, I want every member of you, a member of our association, to become AEO, because we have already become AEO, which gives you a lot of responsibilities and at the same time accountabilities and which will elevate your level and so that internationally you will be able to survive better in the future. And finally, I would always end up with a small story. There was a king and he had all the time had a little headache and uh, he was getting treated by all the doctors but then nothing is going off. And finally when Solomon Guru came and he asked him, whenever you want, you please always see the, the green, greener side of everything. The green paint, green dress and everything. And then he left. What the king did was, he called all his servants, made everything green. Including his cow, his servants, everybody should have only green dresses. And the entire area has to be green. After some time, they saw the king, he was wearing a red dress. The servants rushed and made him want to leave. Then he asked him, why do you want to do this? Then it is the order from the king. Then he met the king and asked him, why do you have to do this? Because you told me, in order to reduce, to get reduced my headache, I have to see only greenery things. So I am painting and making everything around me as green. He said, you are stupid. What you need is a simple green glass. If you wear a green glass, you can see everything green around you. You have wasted all your resources. Dear my friends, what I want our association members to start wearing a green glass rather than seeing, <coughs> wasting our resources, going around and looking for something else. When I mean green glass, you have to look at the present developments. You have to look at the requirements of our corporate clients. You have to look out, look out what exactly the society wants. If you could change yourself, dynamism is very important. If you could do that, we are going to be successful. Once again, I want my members to be proactive and innovative.
what is required today is not waiting for the opportunity. It is our responsibility to create opportunities. Thank you very much.